What is going on today guys, AU here. Today we're bringing you another Road to Top 500 on the channel. Now, I didn't actually record yesterday at all because <laughs> I've been setting up basically what you see on the screen now. I got a, or I set up my webcam and I've been kind of doing a lot of work off camera just to try to like up the quality of my videos. Um, I worked on my mic a little bit, it might sound a little bit better, it might not. I tried to mess around with streaming a little bit too over yesterday and it didn't go that well um but yeah hopefully i'm getting some help with that and hopefully that will start coming pretty soon i figured with everybody having to stay home um might as well start streaming and just kind of get to know everyone that's been watching me a little bit better but if you are new here subscribe because i'm putting out videos like this every single day and it's going to be getting a lot more consistent because um I have no choice but to stay home for uh, really the rest of the semester. My my classes have been moved completely online. I'm I was off this week for spring break. I'll be off next week um, just because the college is shut down. And then after that, all my classes are online. So um, basically, I'll I'll have a ton of time to put out videos, um, stream, and and all kinds of things. But if you are new here, like I said, subscribe and uh, basically. I don't know. Um, if you've watched this series before, you know that I like to take uh, your guys' teams. If you send them to me on Twitter or something, I'll take a look at them. And if there's any changes I think I need to make, I'll make them. If not, then um, I'll just go ahead and battle with them. And this team is actually one of those that I don't think I need to make any changes to. Um, you can see we have uh, basically a Halucha and Didi uh, core right here. And the Halucha hits like 169 speed. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's speed creeping, but it's fast enough that I don't feel like I need to change it, especially with Unburden. Um, all the right move set on it, and then he's got an DD with Focus Dash. Oh, and the person that made this team is so many Rayquazas. Um, he sent me this team on, on Twitter, and that's his Twitter, his Twitter tag. But uh, he's got an DD here with Focus Dash, um, Psychic, Mystical Fire, Follow Me, and Helping Hand. I really like this DD set uh, a lot. He, uh, has done some he's more of a defensive uh ndd which is uh good and then this is the reason i actually like the team a lot it's not because of the halucha ndd like people know when they see that they know what you're going to do um but here is where i really like this team and it's tokus with scope lens and serene grace um actually i think i think this is supposed to be super luck i just don't think he actually changed that um but uh, it's got dazzling gleam air slash protect and nasty plot um, and it's very, very offensive, like very fast. I know this speed tier outspeeds Durant, I think, after a plus one, um, which is kind of weird. He's got Rotom Heat here. As I go through this team with you guys, I also notice some things I might would change. And maybe not having Protect on. I like having Heat Wave on mine, um, and I would take off Protect. But the reason I like this is because of Nasty Plot. Um, pairing it with DD, follow me, and Nasty Plot. I think this Togekiss can uh, put in a lot of work against a lot of other teams. And he's got Assault Vest, uh, Defiant, uh, Bisharp here, which is good. It scares off Incineroars and things that want to snarl. Uh, we got Throat Chop, Sucker Punch, Iron Head, and Brick Break. The only thing is Sucker Punch won't work if you have your own ND Psychic Terrain up, but um, there are ways to play around that, and uh, we'll probably find those. And he's uh, relatively defensive, pretty slow, um, which Bisharp's slow anyway, so I don't, I don't think it's a bad idea. If I were to change anything, I might change Sucker Punch to, like, uh, Assurance or something like that. But I think this set's pretty good. And then he's got Rotom Heat with Citrus, Citrus Berry. Um, he's at 124 speed. Now, one thing I do want to change on this is I like it whenever my Rotoms hit um, faster than Gyarados. Let me change it. I like it when my Rotoms are faster than Gyarados by one point, so... Uh, basically, I don't think this Rotom needs to be very offensive anyways, and I could even put, like, Nasty Plot here over something if I wanted to, um, but I don't think I'm going to yet. Maybe after, like, one or two games, if I feel like I need to, then I will, but I kind of like this Rotom set a little bit better. And then Gastrodon here, we have Life Orb and Storm Drain, Scald, Earth Power Protect, and Sludge Bomb. He's very offensive. Um, I like, I like the Life Orb set. Uh, pair it with Helping Hand and DD, and I think it could actually put in a lot of work. So, 
basically what I'm going to do is I actually need to change my account and I'm going to catch you guys in some battles. Alright, so we have Mr. Rhyme, <laughs> which is a little weird, seems like they only have it for Lapras, but we have a basic sand team, the Arcanine and Primarina, um, Tokus, something that Halucha actually does really well against, it's just I don't want the Arcanine to start intimidate cycling me. Um, Gastrodon here is also not bad. Togekiss isn't horrible. Um, I think probably probably lead in DD Togekiss and have Hawlucha in the back, and then have uh, let's see. Probably Rotom. I would I would think Rotom. I'm not actually entirely sure. Like this is the first game I'm playing with this team. Um, but I think these are the right Pokemon. Alright, so they lead Arcanine and uh, Togekiss, which is fine with me. I'm just gonna follow me. I'm gonna follow me a nasty plot here. And then we'll see what they do next turn. If they Airstream and they kill Indeedy this turn, I can bring in my Halucha and Airstream and get my Togekiss faster than theirs. Because I doubt that their Togekiss is running as much speed as this Togekiss is. And they could Snarl, which puts us at plus one. Um, but that's fine. So they do Snarl. They actually don't Dynamax, which I thought they would have. And they go... Alright, so... I think now... I don't... Like... I could just click Follow Me and Nasty Plot again. But I feel like they're going to want to stop that. Um, if they snarl again, then I'm just a, a, I'm a neutral. So I'm actually I'm going to follow me a nasty plot again because I want to be higher than neutral. Like that's the whole point of having nasty plot on this on this Togekiss. They do Dynamax, which is actually good for me. If they Snarl here, yeah, they Snarl, uh, they'll take out a DD. I really like this now. Um, this is what I wanted them to do on the first turn. So, here, I mean, I'm, I could go, go Rotom and just click Ally Switch. Um, so I'm going to click Ally Switch, and I'm going to Airstream the Arcanine. That's the one thing with Rotom is, like, I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna win this, this uh, ally switch. They bring me back down to uh, plus one, and they airstreamed Rotom <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why they would airstream Rotom, but like, did they think I was gonna ally switch? I don't. I don't know. Um, but I'm actually gonna max guard here. And I'm gonna try to overheat. Is that what I want to do? I feel like they want Rotom gone, so I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm gonna max flare, and I'm gonna protect here. Okay. Well, I I don't really know what in the world that Togekiss was doing. Why was it? Like, I, they had to have read the, the allies, which I don't know why they would have, um, why they would have out, or hit my Rotom. But we're just going to take out the, the Togekiss here. They are faster, but they don't take out Halucha. We'll get the Rock Slide off. Icy Wind. Should be fine. And that actually doesn't kill, wow. I mean, Alice Switch doesn't do anything here. He's got Dazzling Gleam. I'm trying to think, maybe, like... 
<laughs> I don't I don't understand the Ally Switch play at all. Like not one bit. I don't understand why he airstreamed the Rotom slot. Especially when I just brought it out turn one, like is Rotom something that people just assume Ally switches now? It's calm mind. Yeah, I don't think we win this game. That's kind of weird. Um, I'm just going to jump into another game, basically. It's kind of weird to me. Like I said, it's so weird to me that he, he airstreamed that slot. He had to have read an ally switch, which I'm super low ladder. And I don't think people would be reading ally switches. I think he actually wanted to airstream the road in there. But um, here we have a team that doesn't make any sense to me at all. Um, a Grimmsnarl and... Venusaur, but Venusaur doesn't have ways at Sun. And he's got Charizard and Gyarados. Like Rotom hits four of these Pokemon. Gastrodon hits the Rhyperior. This is where I actually wish I had Nasty. Yeah, Nasty plot on Rotom. Um I think I'm gonna lead Togekiss and Indeedee again. And then I'll have Gastrodon in the back along with along with Rotom probably. Yeah. Alright, so it goes Rhyperior and Grimmsnarl. Um To which I don't know what to do. Maybe I'm gonna click follow me and nasty plot. I want Indeedy to go down that way I can bring in Gastrodon. He does it Dynamax. All these people not Dynamaxing on turn one is like <laughs> you expect them to Dynamax on, on that turn. Um I'm gonna sidekick the Rhyperior and I'm just gonna Dazzling Gleam. I bet he Dynamaxes this turn and made me wish that I would have uh that I would have, what's it called, follow me. So we get the crit on the Grimmsnarl, take that out. Uh, he misses both rock slides, which is unfortunate. But we'll see what he goes into here. Like, if we crit that right here, it's definitely going down. Um, but if he brings in something that's faster than Togus, well, I can just follow me anyways. But, yeah, at this point... Alright, so it's Charizard. At this point, Gastrodon can still uh, be able to deal with that. So I'm just going to click Follow Me. He probably Heat Waves, actually. Um, but I'm going to Follow Me and I'm going to Dazzling Gleam again. So he does Heat Wave. He does a kill, actually. I thought he would have. And we did do like one. We missed it, the kill on that right here by one. But here I can go into Gastrodon, and I'm sure he has max overgrowth, but I'm going to Helping Hand, and Max Geyser. Like, I don't think max overgrowth kills a Dynamax Gastrodon. Could be wrong, but he just switches into Venusaur, which is actually a little bit weird to me. Alright, so we get the Max Geyser off. Now, the only problem is that Max Overgrowth from Venusaur definitely kills Gastrodon. Uh, but I'm going to Ally Switch and I'm going to Max Quake that Venusaur. So he protects our period, which is actually really good for us. And he Max Overgrowths the Gastrodon. And we'll get this max quick off, and it doesn't kill. But what we can do is just protect our. We can max guard, right? Or are we faster? No, Rotom's faster, definitely. But the thing is, I don't think. I don't think that. We got a special defense boost, though, so. Um. We might even be able to. Uh, oh, is that the last turn of Light Screen? Is that why they didn't kill? Yeah, that was the last turn of Light Screen. Um, 
I'm actually not. Do I want to? I think he max guards on. Like, does he max guard though? Like, there's. <laughs> this is what Alice, which is bad for me, because now, like, I'm at a 50 50 at the same time he is. Um. I think Max Geyser picks up that KO. And I'm gonna click Ally Switch again. I don't. Let's see why I don't. Alright, so he got the max overgrowth. Yeah, this is why I'm not a big fan of Ally Switch. Honestly, at this point, I'm probably gonna switch that to Nasty Plot. Ally Switch has now <laughs> lost me both those games. And, like, it's great and all, but I just don't. I just don't think that it's needed. Um, also, this Gastrodon, I think it just needs to be. I think it just needs to be max special attack. The max special attack and max HP. The team needs a little bit more speed too. Um, But I don't know where to put that at. Like, the team definitely needs... Definitely needs a little bit more speed. That's the one thing I'm having a hard time on. But, I don't know. We've made a lot of changes to this team. And I'll, I'm probably going to use it in another video. But, uh, I need to do some more... Some more playing around with it. And I'm not actually sure, at this point, what our, our ranking is. Um, we lost both those games. Let's see, rank... AU. Oh, I almost sneezed. Oh, I almost sneezed again. Oh no. Alright, AU misplays. Alright, we're at 12, 12.32 ranking, so that's not too bad. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make some changes to this team because I think this team actually can be really good. It's just missing, it's missing a lot of damage output. Um, in my opinion at least and it's missing a, a good bit of speed I think it needs to be a little bit faster overall but with that guys I think that's probably where I'm going to leave you so if you like what you saw like comment subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one see ya